Hello there, this is Man Wilkson of Man Wilkson Tarot. It is Tuesday, August the 26th, 24th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a longtime subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, please message me. How are you today, Taurus? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you, and vice versa. I hope you know you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with all Taurus out there. All Tauruses. Take what does and leave the rest, and there is no gender in tarot. Let's cut the deck for Taurus. Spirit. The Three of Cups, happiness, joy, bliss, friendship, puppy love. Three of Cups, Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. As you can see, there's three of them around the table having drinks. What is crossing this? Santa Morta. The Death card. This is Scorpio energy. This is talking about death and rebirth. This is the end of a cycle, most likely painful. And at the beginning of a brand new cycle, like a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. Santa Morta. Sorry if I'm just not saying that right. What is consciously known? The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is the Knight of Passion. Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Knight of Wands. Good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, exciting, sexy, sensual, sexual. Does have a player energy though attached to this knight. What is unconsciously known? The Hierophant. This is order, tradition, stability. Also an increased level of commitment. The Hierophant. Recent past, the Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. You've been ha you have had a very painful journey. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have been through the battle. You're expecting more of the same, um, but you do have one last push in you. You still have that one wand, and you can fight through this burden. Near future. The Chariot, my car card, Cancer Energy. You could be looking for a car. You could have just bought a car. This could also mean um, traveling. And maybe you are at a distance from your job or somebody you're interested in. Where do you find yourself? Nine Cups. All right, Taurus, this is the energy you should be in. Nine of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. You are single because you deserve you know you deserve someone great like you. Nine of Cups is living at a high vibration, and when you're living at this vibration, you become attractive to other people and you will attract your person. Nine of Cups. This is like one of my favorite cards in the deck. External influences, the Six of Wands, the Victory card. People are looking to you because you have been victorious. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hopes and or fears, the Strength card, Leo energy. This is talking about taming the beast inside. Um, can be talking about lust. Also having the strength to carry on, no matter what the burdens are. Overall outcome, the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, this is fighting through obstacles. You have faced a lot of obstacles and you are able to fight through them. Kind of like, yeah, a burn of some cycle. But you're going to get through it. You're going to fight through all of your obstacles. 
And so, victor victory. Bottom of the deck. Eight of pentacles, pentacles. Money, money, money. You are working hard. Um, you are good at your job. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are money. You could see the purse. Work hard working, making your money. Eight swords. Eight swords. You have painted yourself into a corner. Um, you think you are stuck, but you're not stuck. That is an illusion that you are creating for yourselves. Swords are air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You are not stuck. You are not stuck. You have the power to get yourself out of eight swords. You're not bound. The temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Temperance card means divine timing, being patient, and knowing that things will happen the way they're supposed to happen. The Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. You are looking for equal give and take because you deserve great things. You deserve great love. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And Pentacles are Money. I like the skull on the pendulum. And the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love. Cups are Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Queen of love, loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, good partner, um, good parent, the Queen of Cups. Love cards. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Nine of Cups. Oh, Queen of Cups. Unrequited love. There's not enough traction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Nine of Wands. This is past energy. End of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. Bottom of the deck, you deserve love. You are lovable. All right, so you have the self-respect. You have love for yourself, and you know you deserve someone great, which is you deserve love and attraction. Queen of Cups. Equal give and take. Things will happen at their own time. Beautiful. I like it for you, Taurus. This has been Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Have a great evening. I will see you on Thursday. Bye, Taurus.